Hey everyone and welcome to Stuff Moms Have Time For. My name is Rebecca and I am so excited to share these poinsettia cupcakes with you guys today. This is an open collaboration with Heidi Sambal from Happily Thriving Heidi and Maria from Artsy Cupcake. I will link their channels in the description below. They challenged us to make some beautiful winter inspired cupcakes and I have decided to make these beautiful poinsettia flowers for the winter season. I feel like they're so festive with the red and green for Christmas, but they also are very wintry. So I'm going to show you guys how I made these cupcakes. If you're new here, I would love you to stick around and subscribe. I make videos on cocktails, DIYs, recipes, and baking. So today we are going to be making a dozen chocolate cupcakes. You are going to need two cups of sugar, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt, a half a cup of cocoa powder, two eggs, room temperature, six tablespoons of olive oil, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, as well as four tablespoons of sour cream and four tablespoons of milk. I will link all of the ingredient measurements below. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take all of my dry ingredients and I am going to mix them in one large bowl and I am going to just take a whisk and make sure that all the dry ingredients are well incorporated together. Once that's done, I'm just going to set that aside and start on my wet ingredients. So I'm gonna take my two room temperature eggs and crack them into a bowl and then whisk them. Then I'm gonna add my six tablespoons of vegetable oil and my four tablespoons of milk. My vanilla extract. And then I'm also going to just add my sour cream and mix it well. You want this to be completely mixed and smooth before you add any of your dry ingredients to it. Then I'm going to take my dry ingredients and slowly just mix them in until I have a nice cupcake batter. Thank you. 
Once that's all stirred together, I am going to take my cupcake mix and I am just going to put it in my cupcake liners. And this recipe makes 12 cupcakes. If you would like to double the recipe and make 24, you can. If you want to make mini cupcakes, you can half this recipe. Then I'm just gonna take that tray and I'm going to pop it in the oven at 350 degrees and I'm gonna leave it in there for approximately 18 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna set them aside when they're done to cool and then I'm gonna start with all of my icing. So I am using tiny pieces of parchment paper and a cookie tray and a leaf piping tip. So you can get these in most piping tip sets or you can buy leaf tips separate and just get these to make these flowers. You're gonna start in the center of your paper and then you're just going to hold the tip at a 90 degree angle and then start from the center putting more pressure and then releasing as you come out. You're just going to build within the flower and go between each petal as you layer it upward. And then you can pipe yellow in the center, but I did not have any yellow food coloring, so I decided to use yellow sprinkles instead, and this actually came out really pretty because it had more of a three-dimensional look. So when piping these flowers, just remember to put more pressure on when you start and then less as you pull away. And then I'm gonna put more of my yellow sprinkles into this flower. And then once all of my flowers are piped, I am going to put them in the freezer for about five minutes. Then I'm just gonna coat the cupcakes with a little green icing so that the chocolate part of it is covered. And once my flowers are solid, I am just going to pick them up and peel the parchment off the back so I can attach the flowers onto the cupcake. Then I'm just gonna go in with the same leaf piping tip and green icing and fill underneath all the flowers out so it actually looks like a three-dimensional plant. I'm just gonna use a little bit of icing to adhere the flower and then fill all the leaves in on the bottom. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was completely inspired by this beautiful poinsettia plant that I have in my house and I wanted to replicate it in a cupcake. Also, please go check out Heidi and Maria's channels as well as the playlist of all the different winter cupcakes that I will be linking in the description box below.
And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video.